Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Now, in response to the shortage of ventilators in the healthcare system as a result of the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, the University of Johannesburg's engineering team has designed and developed portable 3D printed mechanical ventilators that have a customizable base plate to treat multiple patients. To tell us more about it, we're joined via Skype by Dr. Ngosnati Madushele, uh, 3D printing and uh, coordinator at the university. A very uh, good morning to you, Dr. Madushele. Please tell us a bit about this innovation. Morning, and thank you for giving us this uh, opportunity. Uh, so the ventilator came about when we said that as a group of engineers, we need to do something that will um, uh, really help uh, in, in, in addressing this COVID-19 problem. So um, Prof. Jen, which is the head of department in the uh, Department of Mechanical Engineering Sciences, recruited myself as well as as uh, three um, st postgraduate students uh, where we took basically an ambu bag, sometimes called the bag valve mask, and we automated how that works. The way that we automated is that we 3D printed the parts and we superimposed that with electronics. Of course, with any new innovation, the big question has got to be its efficacy uh, and, and how, how, how it can help uh, provide solutions. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, one of the things is that 3D printing is now readily available. And uh, if you just have a 3D printer, what we've done with the design is that um, we have open sourced the files. So if anybody has a 3D printer, we can basically email them the STL files and they can 3D print the ventilators themselves. Now, this enables people to have access to this technology and they can also modify it to where they see fit. It also solves another big problem in the fight against COVID-19 where the uh, uh, health sector was worried about people sharing these ventilators. So in this way, uh, can one use their own, can, can you have those bespoke ventilators, if you like, where only one person will use the ventilator? Yes, well, what we've done with the, with the design is that uh, we have adopted a very basic uh, 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 concept of the Lego design. So the base plate actually enables uh, one to actually have two uh, ventilators mounted side by side. So that also makes it easy for, 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 for patients to access this. And what we've also done, because um, sometimes we have this challenge with electricity supply in South Africa, so we've also mounted uh, lithium power batteries so that these devices can also be operated without the need for electrical connections. You're saying that anyone who has a 3D printer uh, can get the link, but obviously once a person or a patient, a medical patient is in need of a ventilator, they're not able to assist themselves. So one imagines that you're mostly speaking to hospitals and clinics as opposed to individuals how are you how are you how is this engagement taking place well now we are at the stage where we we are engaging with the clinicians to say that this is the prototype that we've designed and these are the things that are this is what the design is capable of because uh, one of the other things is that the three d printed material that we use three d printed material is fundamentally polymers or plastics well, for lack of a better word, but the plastics that we are using are biodegradable. Now, when you engage with clinicians, then their input would be to say that what sort of ventilation do they want? Because from the mechanical and the electrical perspective, we can automate these things, but we further need their inputs to make sure that this is also safe for the patients. So is this a, an, an exciting innovation for the university? Uh, how do you hope to, to take it forward in terms of making it part of the market? Yeah, well, uh, the, 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 the STLs are available for people to, to start and build these ventilators and see what the actual technology is about. And what we've also done is, what we're also doing now is to bring in uh, clinicians to make sure that whatever it is that we do, it also complies with uh, the regulations that might be in this in the health and safety space. Well, awesome. Um, it seems like something that uh, will will have uh, positive consequences in the fight against COVID-19. 
Yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And uh, and uh, and uh, what what is what what is particularly interesting about this is that we used a group of. Uh, undergrad as well as postgrad students so it means then that we are not sourcing problem we're not sourcing solutions from out there but we're actually using our students to come up with these solutions and i think that is also encouraging encouraging and it also addresses this problem of us developing our solutions internally thanks again for talking to us today thank you very much all right, that's uh, an interesting innovation, Dr. Angosnati Adushele from the UJ. And uh, you can download a link to get a ventilator.